Alright, open up. Uh, Shalom, we the Hebrew Israelites. Uh, out, out here week, week in and week out to teach this truth, to wake up the elect of our people. Uh, double, double honor, I'm, I'm all praise to how about Shimei Awashai. You know, double honors to the elders, a great millstone. And uh, honors to you brothers out there teaching the truth and sincerity. Uh, it's the Indiana camp. We got the we got the brothers Hashimian and, and Ayash. Uh, as you brothers know, them brothers, you know, we had separated from them brothers for a while. Uh, the, the brothers are uh, proving themselves to be faithful to you. How about Shimia Washai? You know, the brothers, the, through the spirit of the Lord, the brothers are back in the camp. You know, so it won't be any confusion on that part, you know. Um, today we want to we bring out some scriptures about, you know what I'm saying, brothers being humble and the truth and dealing with and dealing with brothers, you know what I'm saying, according to the scriptures. You read that? 3 and 18. So 3 and 18. 3 and 18. Alright. This is uh, Sirach 3 and 18. He said, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. And the reason I brought out that scripture is because it's easy to get prideful, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you feel like the Lord is dealing with you and it's truth, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. You know, because, you know, uh, when you get uplifted in pride, man, that's that's the spirit that's from, from Satan, man. You know what I'm saying? When when pride get on you, that's that's a satanic, that's a demon. You know? So it's good to stay humble, man. That's why the scriptures say, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. You know, speaking for, for brothers that, that's speaking for brothers that's in the truth, especially, man. Brothers that been in the truth for a while, you know what I'm saying, they, they start getting full of themselves. you know. But it's easy for a brother that, that get in these scriptures, that know that know the scriptures back and forth, man, to, to, to get out of the way of being humble, man. You know? Can you right. that from the top yeah, of brother. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. And thou shalt find favor before the Most High. See, the, the, the Lord is dealing with those that are humble. It's, it said, thou shalt find favor amongst the Most, amongst the most High. Man. That's what the Lord is dealing with, man, humility. You know? And that's, and it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful thing to be in the truth and stay humble. Man. You know? Because this, this pride demon is creeping up in, in, in certain camps, man. Brothers feel like, you know, I've been in the truth, you know, for five, six, seven, eight years. Oh, I know something now. Now I'm somebody. But we all, we gotta keep in mind that we, and we all wicked in this flesh, man. Ain't none of us, ain't none of us really great, man. Like we're supposed to be, man. To, to tell you how about Shemiel You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we all are expendable in the truth, man. The Lord can get rid of any one of us at any given moment. You know, you ain't never, you ain't never too big in this truth where you locked in on for a chariot ride, man. Go ahead, brother. Um, Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Man, pride go up before destruction, man. You see that? When, when that pride get built up into you, man, that, the Lord will take you out of here, man. You know? And a, a haughty spirit, man. That's, that's somebody, the word haughty goes into somebody being lifted up. Somebody uh, 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 being elevated. You know? The, the scriptures say the Lord is honored among the lowly. Yeah. Yeah. Better it is to be hum better it is to be of a humble spirit with, with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Better it is to be in a humble spirit of the lowly. You know? And not everybody has the spirit of humility, man. His brothers in GMS, man, think they too big for their britches, man. Like, like can't nobody check them, man. 
we you gotta remember we all in sin, man. All our righteousness is filthy rags. You should never get into a point in the truth where you where somebody can't come in and check you, man, and put you in your place, man. And you get all emotional and offended, man. That's a that's a terrible spirit to have, man. Somebody that's emotional and, and, and gets offended. When somebody when somebody correct them in the truth, man. Jump to verse five. Mm -hmm. Everyone that is proud in the heart is an abomination to the Lord. Everyone that is proud in the heart is an is an abomination. You know, man, that's that's you know what I'm saying. That's a heavy scripture. I, everyone that is proud in the heart is an abomination to the Lord. Man. The Lord ain't dealing with no nigga that's proud. Man. The Lord, the Lord deals with humility. Is this some more today? Well, I got some more. This, uh, this is Sirach. This is Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abominations. He that hath it shall pour out abominations, man. You know? Your, your wickedness gonna, gonna start coming out, man. You know, he that have pride, you gonna, you gonna start, you know, people gonna start seeing your, 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 your wickedness, man. That's mm -hmm. All right? And therefore, the Lord slock it. Yeah, no, ba basically, the Lord is gonna lift your skirt, man. Calm, calm. That's what he gonna do, man. Exactly. Matter of fact, that's exactly what this is gonna say. He's gonna lift your skirt. He said, and therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. The Lord will bring on strange calamities. The Lord will jack you up, man. You get in the spirit of pride. You're, you're going to lose, man. You get in the spirit of pride, you're going to start losing everything, man. Just like the Lord brought you in this truth and, and built you up in the truth, man. The Lord the Lord can take it all away, man. The scriptures say, the Lord, Job said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, man. You know, the scriptures say that I bring it up and I bring it down, man. Can you get, uh, yes, um, what is that, uh, what you just quoted? You know, Sirach 849. Yes, you got something? Say precept, bro. 18 and 4. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is greater, greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, I humble. What's, and you know what? That's that's a beautiful scripture that you brought that out, man. Because what do you do when a little when you when you tell a little child to do something, man, they listen, man. If you done taught them and raised them up right, man, they more than likely they're gonna listen to, to you, man. You know? That's how we supposed to be, man. Oh, oh, man, I ain't doing shit. I feel you. Man, you supposed to listen, man. You supposed to take heed, man. To your brethren and the truth, man. You know, and, and, and you supposed to take heed to your elders, too, man. To your elders that, that are before you, man. You know, when an elder tell you to do something, do it, man. If, 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 if you don't feel it's right in your spirit to do, man, the Lord will deal with that, man. I don't know what's wrong with brothers, man, getting, getting this haughty-ass spirits, man. 
Like they can't be corrected. And we all going, we all going off, man. All of us are going off. As far as sin, man, all of us, are, all of us sin. It's only through, through the grace of Yahweh by Shemiah was shining that, that the Lord is dealing with us. I got some good. Let's just say. This is uh, <coughs> Sirach 32 and 9. He said, if thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. Make not thyself equal, man. That's a, that's a cut, man. You amongst great men, make, make not yourself equal with them, man. Like when, when Elder Ricard was here in town last week, you know what I'm saying? He, he stayed in my house, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't make, I didn't at one time try to make myself equal with him or try to tell him, hey, look, you gotta do this like this. You in my house, you gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this is your house, man. You know what? I, 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 don't, I don't put myself in a position to correct my leader, man. Unless I feel like through the spirit he's going off. You know, you can correct your leader if you feel like, if you feel in your spirit, or the Lord put the spirit on you, that, that he, that something ain't right about him. Yeah, yeah. And you ain't even supposed to do that to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah. 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 When you read the book of Timothy, it yeah. say, yeah. Um, um, rebuke not an elder. But, but it treat him as a father. Yeah. Treat him as a father. Right. Turn. You know, you could just bring it up. Be like, okay, well, you know, I mean, how do, with, all, with, with, with all due respect, you know what I'm saying? Not nigga! Ugh. You know what I'm saying? You could always talk to him, you know, about it, but, you know, that, that's all, that all lies, uh, falls in, in line with being humble. yourself that's like that's like me saying I got I got more life experience than my father. You know what I'm saying? That when he when he done seen things that I never seen before. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't, you can't put yourself on the level of the man that's over. That's going off. That's out of order man. The Lord deals with order. Not thyself equal with them, and when ancient men are in place, yeah, man, not you'd have been, the, you'd have been the truth five, six years, four years. That don't that don't make you a fucking elder, man? Because you're ahead of a camp, they don't make you a fucking elder, man. Yep, that's right. A lot of her brothers call other brothers elders. No, the elders that the Lord has set up are the elders that's in New York. Those are the elders. They've been in the truth twenty five. 30 years. You're not no fucking elder. You've been the truth four, five, six years, man. Six, seven years. Under 10 years. Yeah, man. You, you're not a fucking elder, man. All right, that don't mean you're not a man of, man of the Lord, but you're not a fucking elder, man. That's right. So, so you know, hey, man, pull your bridges down a little bit, man. That's the spirit, too, man, because, uh, when we were in Chicago, with the brother in Chicago, the brother had called Mike Allah elder. And the brother said, man, I'm not an elder, man. Who calls me an elder? You know, that was humble spirit, man, for him to say that. You know, I was mad. I, that was that was the spirit. Yeah. You don't supposed to, you don't supposed to, like the brother said, man, I don't care how long you've been in this thing, man. Humility is the beginning of this thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's your five, six, seven years to somebody that, that, that been in the truth damn near 30 years? You talking about somebody that has been the truth since the 80s, man. Yeah. And, and you talking about you a goddamn elder. You ain't no fucking elder, man. Yeah, man, that's wicked, man. That's wicked, man. We, we, 
we still we still pooping ourselves. We we still in the pooping ground. You ain't been in this troop over ten years, man. You still in the pooping grounds, man. No, it don't even mean nothing because you'd have been the truth 10 years. Yeah, that, you could be in the truth 10 years and the Lord would still kick your ass out. You could be in the truth 20. 20. Like, like, uh, like, like, you know, Elder Harvey Ott, man. He was in the truth for a long time, man. Right. And the Lord, you know what I'm saying, you know, even though through the Spirit, you know what I'm saying, we feel like he going to come out of that, you know, but right now he going off, man. He going off. And, and really, hell, we shouldn't even be saying nothing about him. The only people that's, that's on, even on the level even saying you think about him <laughs> are the elders, right. you know? Hey, hey, get that to a trials board up. Who, who, hey, who came up with that revelation? The elders always bring that up. Right, right. That, that sign who motherfuckers be talking shit about, all right? Who the same teachers of, of, of our elders came up with this sign through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So, 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 so if you talking about the uh, uh, GMS is going off and all this shit, and you sit right there with this same goddamn sign, you're a fucking hypocrite, man. Yeah, yeah. You're a fucking right. hypocrite. That's right. Man. You, you got niggas talking shit in all these other camps, and they got the same signs that the elders got in their goddamn camp, man. Who the fuck you get that idea from, man? You you see with that with this same sign? What's that motherfucking A H O D C? Yeah, yeah. You got you got the, all these other motherfuckers talking shit, and they got the same signs, man. And that mean you personally went on GMS website and downloaded the signs. That's that's fucking hypocrisy, man. That's fucking hypocrisy, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, yeah, this is uh second Ezra. Second Ezra's 8 and 49. He said, and, 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 and that thou, and that thou has humbled thyself. That as, thou has humbled thyself. As, as it become a thief, and has not judged thyself worthy. And has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. To be much glorified among the righteous, man. We're not, we're not, we shouldn't be in the truth to be glorified, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, you shouldn't be in the truth to want to flex around your muscle, man. I'm all powerful. I'm all powerful, such and such. You're not supposed to be in the truth to be glorified, man. The Lord, we're supposed to, we're supposed to, be, we're supposed to be want to be glorified in the eyes of the Lord and not men. You know what I'm saying? And that's, man, that's, that's what spirit that demon Nate got on him, man. He want to be glorified in the eyes of men. And you know what? You shouldn't be worried about being glorified. Because if you're a man of the Lord, the Lord is going to glorify you in that day anyways, man. He's going to glorify you in that day anyways. And uh, that's the same thing with HODC uh, 12, man. With them, man, them, them, them shiny uh, uh, Mitri's on, man. Them shiny ass Mitri's on, man. Who the hell you think you fooling, man? You know, it seemed like all the wicked men try to put on a, a nice gleaming garment, man. Those over righteous. Yeah, garments. man. Yes. Those, 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 uh, 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 what do they call them? Uh, Pharisees, man. Yeah. Fucking Pharisees, man. Got some. This is uh, Sirach 7 and, 7 and 17. He said, Humble thy soul greatly, for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and warm. Of the ungodly is fire and worms, man. Well, man, the Lord is a, the Lord is a righteous power, but he, he's also a terrible power, man. You don't want to you don't want to get on get on his his, his bad side, man. Cause all uh, this little hell that we catching, man, ain't nothing to what the Lord can do to you, man. Man, the Lord, man, the Lord can really jack you up. Man. Shit, ain't nothing to what the hell that's coming. Shit, and the Lord, the Lord can put it in your heart to really love your children and then kill your children. So that grief can, you can be grief stricken, man. Man, the Lord, he, hey, hey, there ain't no such thing as playing fair with him, man. Ain't no such thing as these are the rules of the game when like, you fucking with the, with the most high, man. Man, the Lord will kill you, man. The Lord will take you out of here, man. The Lord will put you in a nut house somewhere in the corner strapped to yourself, man. Thinking bugs on you, man. When it bug it, fuck your mind or bug you out, right? Check me. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, I mean, 
the best thing, the, the best road to take is the humble road. Because you get fucked up, up out here thinking you somebody special. Thinking that, oh, oh I'm, 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 I'm such and such. I'm just a man on the I'm a bad man on the You know what I'm saying? The Lord will jack your ass up, man. You think you exempt, man. Lord, you with that haughty spirit, man. That proud spirit, man. Is it some more of that? Uh, Galatians 6 and 3. If a man think of himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Yeah, read that over again. Galatians 6 and 3. For a man, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, yeah, he man, deceiveth man, himself. Man, you ain't nothing, man. You thinking yourself to be, be all built up, or you just you just mighty dude, man, but you ain't jack shit. First of all, the, the heavenly the heavenly Father is the one that created your ass, man. So yeah. so so you ain't nothing but uh, uh, but spittle in his eyes, man. It's written all nations is but a drop to in a bucket, to me, man. Yep. Like the Lord told on uh, who's that Moses? I, I can change these these rocks into a nation, man. You ain't jack shit. Come on here. He just. Where he is nothing, he deceives himself. He deceives himself, man. You know, hey, the Lord ain't, if the Lord ain't with you, man, and you, and you over here, out here thinking you big shit, man, you, you only deceiving yourself, man. You can't, you can't sit here and act like you big shit and be doing wickedness, you know what I'm saying, wickedness in your house and it's not gonna come out, man. You can't be sitting here thinking that you only be being judged by the things that we see and not the things that the Lord see, man. Because, you know what I'm saying, the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord see you, man, when you leave the camp, man. The Lord see you when you when you when your sit-down lesson is over. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Lord see you on uh, uh, Sunday through, through Friday, man, when you ain't at camp. The Lord see your, your wickedness, man. You know, and, and you know the Lord has to put demons on you, man, and, and 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 make you look like a damn fool, man. That's why it's good to stay humble, man. And it's, and another thing, man, it's good to be be faithful to the Lord, man. And it's true, and not just wing it, man. Not just not just uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna be an Israelite on Saturday. I'm gonna read my scriptures on Saturday, and then Monday through uh, uh, Sunday through Friday, you being a damn regular nigga, man. You gonna be in the truth, be in the truth, man. You gonna, if you gonna be in the truth, be in the, in the truth 24-7, 365. The scripture says, man, the Lord's eyes are in every place, man, beholding the evil and the good. You're holding the evil and the good. So if your ass being evil, man, don't be mad when the Lord fucking bring you to the forefront. Okay? When the Lord start judging you, man, you, if you've been being evil, man, the Lord start judging you, man, don't get fucking emotional. Man. You got that scripture? Yeah, brother. This is uh, Luke 18. You got something? No, I wasn't finished. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. It said, but let every man prove his own works, and then shall he have rejoiced in himself alone, and not in others. Yeah, in yourself, man. First of all, that's really that's really hard to do, man. Cause I'm I'm never justified within myself, man. That I'm that I'm a righteous man. You know, the only way I can be justified is if the Lord deliver me. Man. You know, I try to stay away from the mindset that I can that I can prove anything to myself. You know, cause the only one that's worth proving something to is the Lord. Hey, man, that's a and that's a good spirit, huh? because really. That's a humbling, man. Because really, man, you, I, get, I got fear of the most high, man, about what to say any, at any time, man. I don't never want to say the wrong thing, man. So you always got to check yourself, man. You got to you gotta humble yourself, man, within these, with, uh, according to these scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't go out and think that the world, it, uh, uh, matter, matter of fact, on the way over, man, the brother was just talking about how Jake is not disciplined, man. The most high is raising up soldiers in this thing, man. He was just saying that same thing. 
I mean, through everything in your life, man, your, your eating habits, man, your, your work ethics, everything, man. You can't be no half, like you said, man, you can't be a half-ass Israelite, man. Your life's supposed to reflect these scriptures, man. Whether you're on camera, whether you're out preaching, regardless, man. The most I said that if you out, if a man asks a reason for your faith, man, you're supposed to be showing or, that you different from these niggas, man. You Israel. You're a different nigga from these guys out here, man. We live in a double life, man, but Cat, man, the brother be talking all the time. Cats be walking up to me like, damn, man. The brother was saying the other day, he was at work, man. The guy was like, you an Israelite. You know what I mean? just said it out of the blue, man. Because, man, the Most High puts a glow on you, man. When you go out this day, man, the Most High puts something on you, man, that you 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 look and you act different, man. Okay. You know? Yep. And man, when you when you really when you, when you really in yeah. the scriptures like like you're supposed to be, man, the, the, the world ain't gonna like you, man. Niggas niggas are not gonna like you, man. Niggas are not gonna niggas are not gonna look up to you and respect you. You know what a nigga will do? A nigga will come up and say, "Well, let me say my piece." <laughs> That's what a nigga will do. Man. Well, I got something to say too. I got something too to say. You got that? Yeah, bro. I got something. Rock God 23 and 19. Such a man only fear the eyes of man, and know if not the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. <laughs> Beholding all the ways of man and considering the most secret part. You see, considering the most secret part, man. The shit that you have from the people that's that's near you, man. The shit, man, the Lord see that what's going on in your in your bedroom, man. You know. The Lord see, man, if you, if you, if you, you know what I'm saying, being cool with one brother and then go and talk shit behind a brother back. Yeah, yeah. The Lord see that shit, man. And the Lord, the Lord is going to bring judgment on people like that, man. Whether you like it or not, man. You know, another thing the Lord see is if you being over-righteous when you judging another man, but you ain't, you ain't judging yourself accordingly, man. Or, or, or you, you see. Show and respect the persons, man. Yeah, okay. The Lord, Lord see, see that, that shit, man. The Lord see that, man. The Lord ain't with that fucking bullshit, man. Call respect the person. That that faggot shit. <laughs> man, you if you a man in the truth, man, you are, you a man in the truth, man. The Lord is about balance. The, the scripture said just balance is his delight, man. Not no no topsy turvy bullshit, man. We ain't on that in the truth, man. You got that there, brother. This is uh, Luke 18 and 9. He said, He spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves. Which trusted in themselves. That they were righteous and de despised others. If they trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others, man. You know, you got so you got so big headed, you're like, oh, look at them little niggas. You can watch out, roaches. You got so big in the truth, man, that you despise your brother, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, 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 uh, uh, you, you vomiting, man. Basically, you vomiting, man. And, uh, another thing that's found what the brother said, man. Wickedness, man, if you in a camp, you gotta, if you, if you in a camp, man, with some brothers, man, and these niggas, like the brother said, if you doing something wickedly, man, if, if the Lord is the Lord sees everything, man. The Lord is one who's gonna, gonna, gonna reveal wickedness to you, man. He's gonna let another brother know that you're not right, man. You don't have to bear false witness on no brother or bring up no charge or trump no charges on him or nothing, man. That's what the fucking police do, man. Well that's well, no, that, really, that's to explain that over. That's what the white man. Right, come on, dog. Come on, right? The white white man. Man. You know, so you, you got Jake that says police officers too that's wicked. Right. That's right. what the white man do. Yeah, man, some more that. Nah, well. Yeah, some more that. Yeah, yeah, okay, bro. So start that from the top. Yeah. And he spake, and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. They and trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And despised the others. And despised the others. Oh, they, I'm right, nigga, you wrong, nigga, and that's it. Come on. He said, two men went up into the temple to pray. And one Pharisee and the other a public. One was a Pharisee, which 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 a well, Pharisee was one that looks for uh, uh 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. That that loves when other people say, "Oh, you're so righteous. You right." You know, that's a Pharisee, man. Someone, someone that you know, a Pharisee would be someone that that go and buy a new outfit just to wear it for one event. That's a Pharisee. <laughs> Church nigga. You know, yeah, it's basically 